through my shed here in the beautiful Blue Mountains today and I'm pretty excited because we finally get to fit up all of our hard luggage that I've been waiting so patiently to do. Um, Dave's made me wait quite a few weeks while he's got his arse into gear to come out here and, and film the install. Um, it took us a while to choose what sort of luggage we wanted. We had a bit of a look between the soft luggage and the hard luggage. The school of thought around the soft luggage being that it absorbs quite a lot of impact if you, if you drop it. With a lot of the trips we'll be doing, uh, we'll be lugging around a lot of our own camera gear and we're really you know, quite conscious around security, not just of the, you know, when we leave the bikes unattended, but just when they're thumping around and when we're riding around like little kids that you know, they're still actually pretty safe and protected. So we chose, chose Boom Off from Bulgaria for quite a few reasons. The, the biggest reason um, really was just around how, um, how well they were made. Now we looked at all the other options on the markets and read a lot of reviews as you do and some from people you don't think too much about, some from ones that are, you know, you think, oh, you know what you're talking about. And the Boomot gear, the build of it is just really, really awesome. So the way it's put together, the TIG rolling is just awesome. And if you're like me, I get a bit excited and I get a bit of a fizz when you see just how beautiful people can actually weld, so like myself. Um, but the construction method, it's all doubled over in the, in the key spots. Um, powder coat inside and out. And it's tough stuff, so I'm pretty sure that when we throw the box down the road, it's gonna it's gonna survive pretty well. So now we get to fit the stuff up and, and do some trips. So bring it on. Okay, now in case you're wondering why we've got two sets of luggage, one in black, one in silver, it's because Stephen and I are idiots, it's so we can tell our bikes apart. Um, no, actually, the truth is that bike is gonna be black, so we're gonna vinyl wrap that bike in, in black vinyl mainly to protect the paintwork and, and secondly because I like black motorcycles. So this luggage is going on the black one, this luggage will go on Stephen's bike, which is at this stage we're planning to leave silver. But one of the things we wanted to show you is one of the reasons we decided on Boomot luggage is this toolbox. So this is the rack that sits on the left hand side of the bike. It's got this toolbox built into it. So it's key operated, so it's lockable. So you can leave some things in there for security if you want to, but for us the biggest thing is these bikes run tubed tires. So if you get a puncture, it's not necessarily as simple as just patching it up. You do need to pull the tube out, fix the tube or replace the tube. So this gives you an opportunity to store tire levers, spanners to get the wheels off, spare tubes, repair kits. Perfect idea. So a quick introduction to the box, a um, few of the things we really liked about it, all the seams are fully TIG welded uh, and geez they've done some really nice work to it, you can barely even see it. They're pretty much completely waterproof, they've got really really tough with the seals right around it and the fit and finish on it, they are just really solid so we're not expecting any water to get in here. Um, inside the box, fully, fully sealed with a really really good resin and then riveted, so like I mentioned before you get basically double skin in all the high impact areas. Um, this is just part of the spin-off system when you mount it. In terms of security, uh, all of the boxes are key to lock, so we've got toolbox top case and side cases, all key to lock. Pretty simple. One of the bit we quite like about them as well is they've got a friction hinge. So if you're wanting to use them to um, Pulling the case to actually stay open, they'll pretty much sit at wherever you leave it. Overall, we're really impressed with this Boomok gear. It's really well made. We love the fact that all the boxes are keyed alike, so you only need one key for all of them. The hinges are fantastic. It's powder coated not only on the outside, but also on the inside, which means the aluminium isn't gonna corrode and stain all your gear. It comes in three different colors. We've chosen the black and the gray, but there's also a silver available as well. We love the little rope handles that you can get for the boxes. And the other thing we loved is all the spare parts that came with it. It comes with some spare plastic corners and even the rivets to put them on. 
The other thing that we ordered with our bags is the luggage that goes inside. So they've got this fantastic little top bag that goes inside the lid of the pannier. Great for storing some small bits and pieces that you might need to get to. And also bags that go inside each of the side cases. Now the beauty of these is if you pull up and you stop at a hotel for the night or you're camping or you, you need to get all of your gear out of the box for whatever reason, you don't necessarily need to take the boxes off the bike. You can leave them locked on with the key and just pull the other parts off. And now for the pressure test. We used a high pressure washer just to try and see if any water could go inside the cases. We uh, spent about two and a half minutes doing this and specifically attacked the seals around the lids of the boxes and also where the rivets are and any of the joins and the hinges and all of those sorts of areas to see if we could find any leaks. And then when we checked, as you can see for yourself, pretty much dry as a bone. What I say pretty much, there wasn't a drop of water in there. These things did not leak at all. Same goes for the top case. As soon as I opened it up, bone dry in there, not a drop of water. And given you're unlikely to find rain that's any harsher than a pressure washer, I reckon that's a pretty good result.